Well, let's go back to the phones. We've got Marie from Dublin holding for us. Hey, Marie. Are you there, Marie? You may have yes, to. I am. Go ahead with your question. My question is, like he was saying, you know, when he's dealing with medical. Okay. Hey, Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Go ahead, ma'am. Let us. What's your question oh, for okay. us? Okay, I was, I was calling. Um, my question is, if you were, um, like neglect when you are under uh, a medical doctor and you're undergoing chemo and radiation for cancer and then they send you home with no anticoagulant, no aspirin or anything and a couple of weeks later you get a blood clot, throw a blood clot and you die. Isn't that a form of negligence on medical part? It, it could be. Um, it, it could be and kind of like what Mr. Horn touched on just a second ago. Uh, what it mostly comes down to is whether the doctor what they did or did not do was within the quote standard of care that's the that's the legal buzzword standard of care uh, in the community for good medicine and and in, in that particular field um, so I know that oftentimes unfortunately blood clots can be a risk uh, from certain procedures that you undergo and so it all depends upon whether that was a risk that was foreseeable to the doctor and whether there's something they could or should have done to prevent prevent that from happening but I'm sorry to hear that it sounds like you lost someone close to you from such an event and certainly that's catastrophic when the person is no longer with us um, so that certainly falls into what we're talking about tonight and as we're seeing right away these catastrophic injuries can take many different forms like Mr. Horn touched on.